morning because you know what morning it is it's christmas morning merry christmas merry christmas everyone we are so glad to be here with you on christmas morning for a wonderful christmas edition mm -hmm. of the monday morning show i'm noah and i'm ashley and we are your hosts so ashley what are your christmas morning traditions well santa comes santa does come he came last night he did come <laughs> yes we got up early House top. click 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 <laughs> He brought lots of presents for the girls, Aww. a couple for me. It was nice. very fun. Wonderful. Yes. Was Maeve just like overwhelmed? She just, just wanted like to play her first with real Christmas, right? Yes, because she was only six weeks old or whatever last oh year and gosh. she was slept the whole thing. Yeah. This year, all the paper, all the <laughs> tissue paper, you know, the toys she doesn't even care about. It's yes. just the garbage. I love that. Yeah. You're so glad you bought so many great gifts for yes. her. Perfect. We did buy her a broom and a dustpan because so she, she likes up, so now she's got one her size, so it's Aww, perfect. That's cute. Yes. Did Santa visit you? Santa did visit me. I had some great times this morning with my family. Good. And Santa came and it was wonderful. Good. Yeah. Fantastic. What do you do the rest of the day? So we like to have Christmas morning mimosas. We do too with cranberry juice. Cranberry, well, this is the first year we're doing cranberry. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have them as soon as I get home from here. Yes, me too. Make tiny little ice cubes that they'd be pretty ones. We can put them in the yeah. glass and then pour the champagne over it. How fun is that? We mm -hmm. didn't get that fancy. We mm -hmm. just have cranberry juice and champagne. Delicious. And orange juice for those who like it, but it's mostly a cranmosa on yeah. Christmas morning. And then a Christmas afternoon nap. Oh, yes, of course. That is required. <laughs> yes. So it's a perfect day. <laughs> perfect day. Well, Merry Christmas to all of you, and we are going to get into our week. Mm -hmm. So today, this evening, uh, we have Christmas meeting of the mug. So at 5 p.m. in the atrium, there's an opportunity for you to go have coffee and treats and just enjoy your neighbors and have some good times. Yes, wonderful. Great to get together with neighbors on Christmas Day and just enjoy a little cheer, exactly. a little cup of cheer. A cup of cheer, we love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wednesday afternoon at two o'clock, back down in the atrium, we've got musical reminiscing, which is always a nice relaxing time. Yes, it is. And on Thursday afternoon, we've got a couple of fun things going on. Uh, cardio drumming will be on Thursday, since I will not be here this afternoon to cardio drum, it will be right during my Christmas Day nap. <laughs> so we will be cardio drumming on Thursday at 3 p.m. in the gym. There is also an opportunity to go to a wellness event at 3 p.m. in the auditorium, and that's put on by the wellness team. And at 7.15 on Thursday night, it's bingo night! Bingo! Bingo! So since we are a little bit uh, past the holiday season, everything's calming down. So we're going to have a fun competitive bingo night in the auditorium and hopefully you'll be a winner. Win some prizes, right? Yeah. 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 Good prizes. I picked them out myself. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Friday morning at 10 a.m. you can head up to the auditorium and show off all those bingo prizes you won at Meeting of the Mugs. Again, regular get up that version. Early. Well, yeah. You've been out so late and have bingo night and then so up excited early about those prizes. Exactly. You probably didn't sleep. <laughs> Hopefully, you got a little sleep after the excitement of bingo night and, and can make it to meeting, to meeting at the mugs. The mugs. <laughs> what do we have Sunday night? And Sunday night is a big party. Well, I don't know if it's a big party. It's as big as you make it. So we yes. have our bring your own New Year's Eve party on Sunday night because it's New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. But I don't know about you, but midnight's a little late for me. Way too late for me. So we're going to celebrate at 7 p.m. And we'll have some tables set up in the atrium as well as some drinks that will be provided. But you are welcome to bring snacks, beverages to share. If you want to bring some champagne to toast the new year, anything, and just come on down and enjoy some time with your friends. I know in years past, residents have brought games to play. Mm. Uh, residents have thrown balloons over the edge as in, like a ball drop. Perfect. So That's the party fun. is what Noah said. It's as you yeah, make it. As so you make it. absolutely. That'll be fun. Yeah. And I think that's our that's week. That's our week. And that's 2023. Oh. That's a wrap. Wow. Isn't that weird? Before we go. Before we go. Let's show them what we did for Christmas. <gasps> yes, we did a little Christmas baking. We did some Christmas baking. We made a traditional 
We tried to make a traditional Yule log. <laughs> I think we were quite successful. We were pretty good at yeah. yeah. I think it turned out good. But let's take a look. Good morning. Good morning. I am so excited for, for what, what we're doing. What are we doing? Well, as you know, <laughs> we like to bake. Mm -hmm. And it's been a while since we baked something exciting for you. So we thought to celebrate Christmas and celebrate the holidays, we should bake something super fun and maybe a little bit out of our comfort zone. This is very. Much. So today we are making for you a bouche de Noel. Otherwise known as a Yule log. A Yule log, which is one of those delicious wrapped rolled cakes with the delicious filling inside. So we are making a chocolate cake with a whipped hazelnut chocolate filling. Yes. Which sounds delicious and just absolutely Christmassy to me. And it's gonna look like a log. And it's gonna look like a log. Ideally. That we can, well, yeah. In, <laughs> in, a, in an ideal world, it'll look like a log and we will be able to use it to light our fires to roast our s'mores on Christmas Eve. There we go. Does anyone else roast s'mores on Christmas Eve? Just me? Do you really? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but if I had a fire, I might. All right, so this log will come in handy. I think it will. Uh, Except for this is on Christmas, so Christmas Eve is over. Well, shoot. Okay, next year I'll make some s'mores <laughs> right. on Christmas Eve. So, should we get to it? I think we should get to it. All right, what, what do we gotta do first? Let's I don't see. know. We have to make the cake, okay? We gotta make a cake. So dry ingredients first. In the bowl. In the bowl. Let's see what we got here. We have, it says whisk the cake flour, cocoa powder, baking powder, and salt in a medium bowl. One and a third cups. Does it need to be an exact cup? Yes. I don't really know what we need. What? And a third of a cup. There we go. And cocoa powder. It says it has to be Dutch process. Could you tell me what Dutch process cocoa is? I can't, but I looked at Meyer for Dutch cocoa. Okay. And Hershey's Cocoa Special Dark, which I like dark chocolate and so do you. That's true. Also says it's Dutched. Oh, that seems right. This cocoa's Dutch been cocoa. Dutched, so here we go. How much of that do we As need? have we. We might not be Dutch, but we've been Dutched. Well, I am Dutch and I've been Dutched. Are you not Dutch? I'm not Dutch. How are you tall and blonde in Holland without being Dutch? Well, my family is not from Holland. That's right. I'm from We're Massachusetts. Boston. Concord. Concord, Massachusetts. Concord, Massachusetts. We Does need everyone two love our Christmas <laughs> East Coast accent? <laughs> oh, it smells good. It smells so chocolatey. I'm sure it would taste really gross, but. Yeah. But mix some stuff, it's good. All right, and we then baking a powder. Of baking powder. And some salt. Our very fancy packet of salt. Oh. There we go. All right, whisk it up. Whisk it. Oh, it looks like chocolate whisk, already. Whisk, 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 whisk. Here we go. Whisking ah. party. <laughs> We're so cool. We are. All right, there we go. I'm so now we are going to whip up six egg whites. Six egg whites. But we needed to save the yolks because we'll need those later. What are the yolks for? Well, they're going to get mixed back in, but we need the whites to get nice and fluffy so it's a nice ah. light cake like angel food. Ooh, a chocolate angel food cake. Mm -hmm. That sounds fabulous. I'm beat very excited about this recipe we picked. I hope it's good. Me too. Okay, beat the egg whites and half a cup of sugar together on high speed for four to five minutes until stiff peaks. So we need half a cup of sugar. Yes. Weird of me. Okay, now it thinks it wants another bowl, I just realized. But we're gonna figure this out. Okay. We might use this pan that's in the sink. Great. Half a cup of sugar. Because it's just to hold it for a little bit. Oh, yeah. This was a choice I had. I've never bought sugar in a box like that before, but I... It's kind of helpful. Yeah, so I thought it'd be easier for us than we didn't need a whole bag either. Yeah. The bags are just kind of hard to do. All right, and now we're going to beat this. Four to five Ooh. minutes till stiff peaks. Okay. 
Like ah! Right wow, stiff Yay. peaks. Show it off. All right, here are our stiff peaks. Woo! Look at them stand up. Can you see how, how stiff they are? Look at that. Look at them. It took a lot of minutes, but here we are. <laughs> that was more than four or five it minutes. It was more than four or five. They lied. They're so stiff. <laughs> and now... And now we need to take this out of this bowl. And, and transfer it, but gently... Gently transfer don't it. Don't knock the air out of it. I spent so much time whipping all that air in there, actually. I, I don't want to undo all your hard work Don't undo here. all my hard work. I will cry. Oh, no. We don't can't cry. cry on Christmas. No tears on Christmas. Oh, it's Merry Christmas. I love Christmas. <laughs> Santa would be sad. This looks mm -hmm. like whipped cream, and I would like to just eat it. I, I know, need I'm to remind curious. myself it's egg whites. Okay. You can eat egg whites. You can. Yeah. But I don't want to eat them raw. Fair. Okay. Next up. Great. <laughs> Next we are going to, I'm confused by our order of paper. All right. Do you have anything? Yeah. We need to add, using the same mixing bowl, add the egg yolks, remaining sugar, and vanilla extract. So here's egg your yolks. egg yolks. You made them. All right. Ooh. That's a silly transfer. To hand you the measuring cup? Yeah. To dump. <laughs> How much vanilla extract? How much vanilla extract? That is a good question. I have ask good questions. One and a half teaspoons. That's a one. This should oh, and here's one. I can guess a half, I think. Okay. I feel comfortable with that. And sugar. And sugar. The other half a cup of this one. Whoop, dump. And honestly, if there's a little extra vanilla, will it hurt anybody? I don't think so. I'm a big proponent of extra vanilla. <laughs> okay, and so now this do I get one, to whip some more? You do. Oh my gosh. You're beating on high speed for three to four minutes or until thickened and light in color. Oh. I mean, it's much thicker than we started with. Yeah, and it's very light in color. It is. So here we are with our whipped egg whites, sugar, and vanilla extract. What comes next? Well, now Ashley? we're gonna add egg whites back in. <gasps> okay, so we're gonna add half of them in and you're gonna use the mixer on low for 10 seconds. After so you've added them in? After I've added them okay. in. So we I'll just wanna like incorporate them without defluffing them. Okay, so on low. Whoa. That doesn't feel low. Like that? Yeah, I think so. All right, now we're gonna add the other half back in. I think we're doing it half and half so that it doesn't. Just, yeah, it stays. It stays nice and fluffy. It feels fluffy. It does feel fluffy. to add in half of this and we're either going to fold it in or beat it real easily. Do you think that is low enough with the beater? It says beat on low or fold with a silicone spatula until combined. Let's beat on low. Okay. I feel, I feel good with that. All right, let's go half C's. Our half is um, estimated around yes. here. Measure with our heart. Aww. <laughs> Feels crazy. This is another 10 seconds. Until it's combined. Okay. Are we adding the rest of it? Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. so oh, chocolate. man. And it smells like dark, like really rich chocolate. Mm. Folding. What's next? Next is bake it. <gasps> we get to bake now? Mm -hmm. Oh man. 
All right, All right, so now we're pouring it onto a pan that's covered in parchment because we need to manipulate this cake quickly after it's done. There's some fun stuff. Mm -hmm. So All just right. gently pour around there. Evenly. Yeah. There's still like some unmixed particles oh, at the bottom. bottom. Particles. Fold it in. Folding. Folding. We're losing all our air. You fold it in. I need to watch that show. Oh, why am I going away? I don't know. You don't want to be seen? Ooh. Mm. I wish you could smell this. We need smell a vision. Mm. What is that from Willy Wonka? Mm -hmm. Red batter evenly, so we want it to be a nice rectangle. shape, rectangle, so we can roll it up. This is a very thick batter. It doesn't really want to move, which I suppose is good. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be thick. How do we feel about that? Like, can it spread more or is it just resisting it? It is resisting, but. Wake up the neighbors. Merry Christmas! All right, you want to pop her in the oven? I want to pop her in the oven. How long is this baking for, Ashley? 15 to, you know, 16 minutes. All right, let's uh, set a timer, shall we? Let's do it. Well, while it's baking, while it's baking, we need to dust our towel with cocoa powder because as soon as it comes out that sounds like a mess actually a big mess this towel is gonna get out of here when we're done probably. but did we show how cute it was no look at happy home for the holidays home for the holidays and here we are in your home for the holidays <laughs> All we're gonna do is sprinkle three tablespoons of cocoa powder all over our towel. Ooh, so it's gonna like absorb into it and be extra cocoa. Yeah, and help it not stick, I think, to the towel. Oh, so it'll provide it a flour sort of effect. Yes. Interesting. But we don't want to, you know, put flour on our chocolate No, that cake. would not look so aesthetically pleasing. It would not. This. Right, so. All right. There we go, now we're ready. So it's been about 15 minutes and we have a cake. We have a cake. It looks like a cake. And it looks pretty delicious. It does. But it's now comes tiny. the hard part. And the hard part is that we have to flip this cake out of the pan onto this cocoa powder without making a giant cloud of cocoa powder mess. And then we have to pre-roll it. Mm -hmm. So we have to sort of like make it remember what we want it to do for when we fill it with cream and yes. roll it again. Because if we try to roll it when it's cold, it'll just <laughs> crack. Crack city. So... <laughs> Uh, Ashley, you want to yeah, give it a shot? Let, let's see what we can do here. We are operating without um, oven, mitts? oven mitts today. So that's part of our Okay, fun. now you grab the top there and like gently. Oh, look at us. That was so gentle. I am so proud. All right, so we can peel the, the wax paper off. Oh, it's so warm. It's a cake. I think we baked it for long enough and not too long. We might be professional bakers here now. We uh, had those really successful cookies last week. Mm -hmm. And now... Monday we, morning bakery? We've got a cake. So there might be a business coming to you 2024. Watch out. Ready to roll? So now we're gonna roll. Yeah. And do we just... Just roll it up, yeah. And then we're supposed to put it in the fridge to cool down, rolled up, so okay. that it stays in that form. Yeah, so let's tuck some of that cocoa in. So far, we're, we're there clean. There she is. We're rolled. <gasps> Tucked away for the night. She's ready for a nap. All right, nap time. Let's put her in. Who puts a baby in a cold spot for a fridge? Well, you know, in Nordic countries, the babies nap outside <gasps> in their strollers in the cold. Oh. And they're the happiest people in the world. Maybe well, on that something. note, we'll be back to in a bit. Right. See you later. So it's time to make our filling. <gasps> and this filling mm -hmm. is a cocoa, nope, cocoa hazelnut whipped cream. So to start, we will put in a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. You gotta have it. The best start to any sort of a whipped cream. 
Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ashley takes all my garbage. And she is so happy about it. Wow! One and a half. That's half-ish. Then we need a quarter cup of sugar. Ooh, gotta sweeten it up. We do. Sweeten the deal. The deal is pretty dang sweet. And if you had it, some hazelnut liqueur. Oh, hazelnut liqueur. But. But we do not have We do not have oh. So sad. And then we need a tablespoon of Dutch processed cocoa. Mm. I know, right? I don't want to stick this wet thing in here. Oh, oh what's a little extra cocoa? Tablespoon-ish. Do you have the vanilla? Oh no, you just Yeah. And then just because I like a little vanilla, I think we just need a little, a dash. That feels like enough. It does. Do I get to mix this time? Do you want to whisk? Yeah, I kind of do. And so now you're going to whisk until it's whipped cream. All right. looks delicious. It does. So now that this is finished, we've got some waiting to do. We do. We gotta let the cake cool. We gotta let this set, make sure it's all nice and ready. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back a little later to show you the rest. That's all we have, right? Yep. Back. We are on day two. Day two? Day two. Of our Yule log experience. Do, 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 do. Where did we leave them? Putting our little baby to we bed. We left them putting our baby to bed, all wrapped up in its blanket. It was nice and warm. And she's very cold now. Mm -hmm. She spent a lot of time in the fridge. So hopefully she's set and ready to be frosted and decorated and served. Mm. So what do we do next, Ashley? We got to unroll her. <gasps> Unveil. Unveil the... Oh my, she's, she's messy. Gonna be messy. We put a lot of cocoa powder on this. So I think the unrolling is going to be kind of difficult without cracking it. Oh my. So I'll hold. Do we need to? Okay. So may, there, we might be learning that there's a sweet spot to how long you should refrigerate it. But okay. maybe we we'll can just out. leave it like this and we'll and then fill the, it with. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Great. Great. So that is our next step, is to fill it with the chocolate whipped cream that we this made yesterday. Delicious looking whipped cream. Okay, I'll hold her back. All right, and we fill the whole thing, right? Yeah. All the layers. And maybe just leave a little room at the end to... Uh... No room. All whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the one in there will push through, you know? Oh, right, right, right. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, no. The best part is after that, you're going to sprinkle hazelnuts all oh, over this whipped chopped cream. chopped hazelnuts, mm. which is one of my favorite flavors. Your favorite nut? This might be my favorite nut. I like all the nuts, but mm -hmm. hazelnuts, mm, they're so good. Do you like hazelnut coffee? I love hazelnut coffee. My mom always had hazelnut coffee creamer growing up, mm -hmm. so I think that's like what makes me think of real coffee. But I don't buy it for myself anymore. Really? No. Nope. Weird. I know. But there's always hazelnut creamer if I go to her house. <laughs> That's good. Remind you of childhood. <laughs> yes. Ooh, yum. Gotta get make, make sure we get all this whipped cream in here. Don't want to miss a drop. I'm gonna no. grab the hazelnuts. All right. And I'll do some spreading. Feeling this might be a messy cake. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having this feeling. I don't know, the whipped cream and cocoa powder everywhere right now. Well, all right, that's probably as good as it'll get. All right, let's uh, hazelnuts. Woo! Should we do a lot? We should do a lot. Okay. 
This is not a good cake if you are allergic to nuts. Yeah, ooh, that looks so good. There we go. That looks great. And now we roll. So we get to see <laughs> if we were successful. Maybe I want to roll. Ashley yeah. didn't look like she was excited to roll, so I will roll. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Look at her! Wow, okay. All right. We brought a nice little tray to set her on. Why is she a she? What happened? Um, Did we just decide she was she was girly? She's just giving this off cake. that energy. <laughs> Look at her, she already looks like a log. That is quite, that is actually quite a bit prettier than I imagined it would mm -hmm. turn out. But we're not done. We're not done. We're not done at all. Not done at all. We have some more exciting things to do. So we made some chocolate ganache mm. by mixing some hot heavy whipping cream with the semi-sweet chocolate and just let the hot cream melt the chocolate, whisk it together. We've got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ganache. Beautiful ganache. Very chocolatey. So what we need to do is pour it all over this. Mm -hmm. And then take a fork and make like the bark. Oh, to make it look like a tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I'll get a fork and right. we can pour the ganache. All right. Now this also has the potential to be very. You play them on TV. Ah! I love that. It kind of does resemble a little. Mm -hmm. I like how you gave it like a little knot right Thank there. Thank you, I was trying to be artistic. I like it. I see your vision. Thank you, thank you. Some of the cocoa powder on the outside makes it hard to... Yeah. Like if the chocolate doesn't want to stick to it. It does not. Mmm! I don't know if that makes it more or less. More. Okay, great. Wow! It looks so good. All right, that we gotta get a close so up here. Good. Should I hold it up? Yes. <gasps> wow! Oh, here's our Yule log. Wow! <laughs> so I think there's only one thing left to do, Ashley. What's that? I think we need to serve this. And I see think how so. It, tastes. it looks good enough to eat. It looks good enough to eat. <laughs> And now, let's bring it out into the world. Let's go. All right, should we give this a try before we head out? I think we should We should give it a try. All right, let's see here. I wanna make sure I get a little ganache. Bite. Ooh, that was a lot of ganache. Mm -hmm. And cake and hazelnut. I'm eating this like a monster, but. You are. What happened to you? <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, get to oh. go in. There we go. That is quite a bite. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> I'm alright with that. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. It was too much of a bite. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I like the crunch of the hazelnuts. Mm-hmm. I like that it's not too sweet. It's not overly sweet. Mm-hmm. It's Which like is... perfectly chocolatey. Yeah, and the cake is really light. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Nice That's job. We a good are. One. We got this. Now we're gonna bring some to you. The evidence. Yes. Oh my goodness. Here okay. is our Christmas Yule log that Ashley and I baked. Oh, yeah, that's my one of my favorites. Uh, good times, everybody. Yes. yes. Here, here. Who was the baker? Both oh, of we us. Both did it. Yeah. Oh. We were. Mm -hmm. To you. <laughs> to you. Cheers. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Just a minute. <laughs> a Yule log. You can see how how similar it is to a log, right? Right. right. Love it, love it. And it is a chocolate cake with a chocolate hazelnut filling and chocolate ganache on top. Ooh. We'd love to hear how it is. Can I just go for it? Just go for it. There's no other option. Wonderful. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> All right, so last week, Kylie showed us her skills. 
So this week we thought we should show you ours. <laughs> And we have a chocolate cake with a chocolate hazelnut filling and a chocolate ganache. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah, it's an opportunity too. Awesome. It looks good. It does. It's a, a Yule log. We have the original here <laughs> to show. Yes. That is so good. From a pastry chef. What do you think? It was pretty good. We'll take it. Actually, and I made a Yule log today. You did? We did. And this is the last piece. But it's a chocolate cake with a chocolate hazelnut filling, and it's topped with a chocolate ganache. Oh We'd my love land. for you to try it and tell us how it is. Oh, all right. Well, now just let me set this down. You've got some things in your hands, so. Well, I, it's such a lovely day to get out, but I it have is. to have some of this. You've got to have a little of this. A right bite, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, can I get my mouth open there? Mmm. Yes, you can. Mmm. <laughs> Mercy, you girls can bake like everything. Oh, yay, good. You're wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for trying it. Well, I think it's safe to say our Yule log was a success, I if not so. in looks, at least in taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, anything else before we go, Ashley? I don't think so. Well, we better get back to those Christmas morning mimosas. <laughs> so that's Ashley. That's Noah. This has been Monday morning, and we'll see you next week. We'll see you next year. We'll see you next year. Bye. Bye.